think there's some, I guess, is there a good, is there a bad to that, you know? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, I think it's, uh, I think as far as being picked, you know, number one to win the conference this year, yeah. uh, you know, we expect that, you know, we, but it's, it's also, I think it's a great place to be for, as far as our program to see the respect that we're getting from, you know, other, um, you know, other people around, you know, around the MAC that says, hey, you know, this is Ohio, they're doing some, th some good things. Um, so to be able to see our name at the top, um, you know, everybody, we have the mark on our back now. Everybody wants to mark, knock us off. So, you know, we'll be prepared and, you know, we're going to get everybody's best shot. So we better be ready to go, which we will be um, every week. All right. All right you, thank, thank you, thank you much. so much. Love have a good one. Good luck with you. I mean, with him proving last year that he was able to handle the offense and to run it effectively, you know, I think that definitely is a major bonus coming back because we have the consistency. We know who the guy's going to be that's out there controlling the offense. And, you know, it's just a confidence builder knowing that, you know, and Tyler feels comfortable with us and we feel comfortable with Tyler out there leading the offense. How do you see some of the young players developing, wide receivers, running backs, everything like that? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the wide receiver position, that was definitely a position where we lost some key guys from. So it's been great the first couple of days here to see, you know, receivers step up and kind of fill into those roles. You can kind of get the idea of, you know, how guys are going to do this season, and I think we'll be just fine. Great. So where do you guys see, like, the biggest you guys want to grow? Like, after one week of camp, kind of where do you guys think the team needs to just want to improve on that sort of thing? I think it's the little things, you know, it comes down to, uh, you know, alignment issues as far as spacing and so forth. Um, but, you know, those are, it's early, you know, and, uh, I don't see any major problems. Uh, you know, definitely things that we can, you know, that are corrected over time. Uh, so through the next, you know, couple of weeks here, we'll definitely fix those little things that, you know, so when week one, we'll be ready to go. So what do you think it would kind of be like going into an atmosphere like Penn State has, just that big crowd feeling, that's what, just the big stadium over yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun, you know, because we'll definitely go in there and Penn State will have a lot more fans than we have there. But, you know, I have no doubts that our fans will be, will try to be heard in that crowd. And, you know, it's, it's just, it's another football game, you know, when it all comes down to it. You know, up until kickoff, there's a lot of, you know, the atmosphere and so forth. But once, once kickoff happens, then we're zeroed in on what's going on on the field. And, you know, it's just another football game. Great. 